Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. And this time, we're going to do a bit of a building with some light that sort of goes sing <laughs> the side of it. It's one, a photo that I took actually. It wasn't why I went there, because I went there looking for an uh, interesting photo, but I ended up taking this. And it <laughs> the reason I went there was because I... I heard that there was a kite, a uh, a bird, not a uh, a kite that people fly, but an actual bird <laughs> flying around. And I thought, hmm, well, that'd be good if I can get a shot of that. That'd make a good painting. But yeah, I didn't. I didn't get a photo of it. Not a very good one, anyway. I got a really bad one. <laughs> So I have the building here, and it goes to about there. I'm just using some grey colour to uh, to sketch it in. And. Uh, uh, like yes, yeah, something like that, and then uh, the roof is quite like that. This is a, uh, in fact, an old stable. Yes, an old, another one of them old stables that seem to survive, but the old house doesn't. <laughs> that seems to happen uh, quite a lot. Because the, the house burns down, but the stable makes it, because it's at not attached to the house, obviously. Well, they aren't usually. So, uh, yeah, we've got this building, and then in front here, it's quite light. And then... Uh, where the grasses and stuff are. And then here, it's just a, a mass of trees. Really dark. And then uh, the shadow up the side of this. And then there's a really light bit there. <laughs> that's, that's really the painting. I really like it. I like the idea of it anyway. And, uh, so I'm going to do it. That's what you've got to do, really. When when you like something, just paint it. Don't think about whether other people will like it. Or whether it's going to be your masterpiece. Because usually the painting that you like, someone else will probably like it. Hopefully. <laughs> But I just see this, you know, just keep practicing. It doesn't really matter too much. As long as you're practicing and keep painting, that's all that matters. All that matters to me, anyway. So I'm going to have to start filling this in with this green. Greens. I'm going to build in this color up a bit. Because it's, it's not as strong as it should be yet. Throwed in, throwed in, thrown in some black and sap green. Bit of this other green, primary green or whatever it is, I don't know. Viridian green maybe, maybe. <laughs> Make a really dark, really dark green. So all you can remember is we can paint over this a bit like an acrylic paint, a bit like, <laughs> kind of, a bit like oils you can paint on top. So we don't have to worry too much about painting dark in first because we can paint light on top of it. Some uh, other ways of painting watercolours is that you would have to uh, keep your lights using 
masking fluid or just brush avoidance. <laughs> the brush avoidance system. The system of avoiding your paint hitting the paper. <laughs> So I, I tried that way of painting before, and uh, I find this more suits me. This suits me better. I prefer painting this way, but some people they prefer the other way, where they avoiding the lights. And you should paint the way you want to paint. There's no rules. No rules. Just paint. That's what they mean by no rules. There's rules in ways to make look things look good, or things look a bit better, but there's no rules in applying the paint. As long as that pigment reaches your page, that's the only rule there is, isn't there? Right. We'll let that dry a bit. I'm gonna get a little bit of brown in this green. in this roof. Okay, now oh, this side of the building is quite, it's kind of grey, kind of a, let's have a look at this. So I want to get some black, black and white, making a bit of a grey, maybe a bit of brown in it, maybe a bit of that roof in it, <laughs> throw a bit of roof in there, yeah, that might work, we'll try it. See, I find, this is a weird thing, colour, depending on what colour surrounds it, the colour changes to a colour that you wouldn't think it is. And that is a really weird thing. Because <laughs> when I first look at the, uh, the shadow of this building, I thought to myself, oh, that's sort of a dark yellow. <laughs> and then... Uh, I sort of pushed away a lot of the colour. If you if you create a hole in something, say a bit of grey card and you put a hole in it and then look through it on your page and you can just see that colour. You see the colour and then you realise, oh, okay, that's wrong. But luckily, I've done that before with other things and then uh, and you get a bit more used to colour. And you get used to the same colours and then you, you start mixing a bit better. <laughs> but it's a uh, colour mixing is a process. For me, when I first started doing more more and more colour mixing, it was a process of elimination. <laughs> I would keep mixing a colour and I would keep mixing the wrong colour and then eventually I'd get it right. <laughs> Eventually, eventually I'd go, ah, I got it, yes, I knew I could do it. <clears throat> Bit of a yellow ochre in with my black, give it that colour there. I'll throw that in that grey as well. Right, so, we've got this tree that has cast a shadow as well. I've got a shadow to put in all up here, so I'm going to get some blue, getting some blue into my grey, so blue and black really, blue and black, blue and black, blue and black into a nice grey, and then we'll put in our shadow, so it, the shadow goes across and then up the side the side of this in sort of tree shape
you get areas that have not got that colour on some areas a couple of bits So that roof has a little bit of a greeny blue hint to it on this side, this one side. So I'm just going to put a bit of this on. And on there, along here as well. There we go. And there's a bit of light. Here, there's a bit of a piece that we need to put in. Oh, should have been darker, not lighter. <laughs> oh, whoops. Let's go for a bit more black in the colour. A bit more black, let's have a look at that. It's lighter still. A bit dark on the brush. Go. There's a window there. But it's all boarded up on the inside, so people can't get in. <laughs> and the uh, the doorway is is as well. It's a big shame, isn't it? It's a big shame when buildings become ruins. Put a line along here as well. So there's a door, I can see, it's a bit blue, so I get some ultramarine blue in with my dark colour, and it's in, it's there. See as much of it. In fact, this door should be only there as well. That area. That area should be a bit more of the dark. Go into a, a smaller brush. Get a bit of 
bit of dark colour. Just to give that a bit more of a more recessed in. Same with that actually. And there's a bit of a, a grill or something there. Just pull that in, put a bit of dark. And there's some uh, changes of colour, a bit of yellow ochre in there. Maybe a little bit of burnt umber and yellow ochre actually. Same on this wall as well as slight changes of colour. Put a light there and here as well. A bit more dark on this shadow. A bit more. There's also a window up here above that doorway. There's a window there. And there's a drain pipe there. Put that in. This dark there as well. Oh, and there's a bit of shadow there. Didn't notice that before. Bit of a that goes up there. That doorway needs darkening. Same with this one. See the dark part of a bit of window there. And there's one there as well. I 
And there's another pint. Another bit of gutter. Right, now then. <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it, how things start to take shape. The start, this, this is actually starting to look light, and I haven't even put any light on there. I've only painted the darks. But there is uh, in need of some light. I'm thinking magical Naples yellow. <laughs> Give it a go. Naples yellow in with a white. So I'm getting my Naples yellow and white. And I'll start putting in some light that's shown. Here and there, the sparkles of the light breaks through the shadow, lighting up the building. The light doesn't stop, it keeps pushing through until it reaches the target. In this case, the target is the building. brightens it up, takes away the dullness. Yeah. So the Naples yellow worked out nicely has worked out quite nicely. Um, the only thing I would say we could do with a bit more warmth in areas. So what I might do is get a bit of yellow ochre and a little bit of sunshine. <laughs> bit of yellow ochre and there's a little bit of this reddish colour. A uh, bit of orange and yellow ochre. And I might just throw that in in areas as well. Just on top of what we've already done. Sometimes a slight shift in Warmth in the colour can make a difference. You don't have to cover all of what you've done, you can leave some of that other colour showing through. I just wanted to warm it up a little bit in places, and now I need to. Uh, Add this line and just turn my page a bit so I can do it. There we go. And now, oh, I didn't even notice that, but you can see top of a uh, chimney there. I'll put 
put that in. <laughs> um, now, I can start working on the details of in here. Oh, and there's a bit of a nice... I need a bit of a lighter blue colour. Lighter... Lighter bluey colour just for this bit here. Just vanished a little bit, I didn't want that to vanish too much. Get that sort of bluish colour in there as well. Throw a little bit of a uh, watercolor blue in, nice and thin. You can add a bit more to this. A bit more blue, bluish stains in there, <laughs> just to uh, help a little bit. Coldness. Because it's, it's a game of warm and cool all the time. Right, now... I want some really good green. So what have we got here? Cadmium yellow. Cadmium yellow pale. Which is nice. Nice yellow. I'm going to pull out a... Uh, Nice bit of green with the yellow, the yellow and the sap green. I'm going to get this really nice bright spot. A bit of white in it as well. Right there. Actually, while we're at it, I might as well put some more in. Get some of this uh, green. Put some more in, in these other areas. Some like nice green areas. Where the leaves are. Picking up a nice colour. Come for it. This is a bit duller now. A little bit duller. Throw in a different more. You can do paint this. It's a bit. I've gone into a bit more blue. You can uh, throw in this. All these different shapes if you want to or you can do masses of color totally up to you i don't mind doing either actually i quite do like doing this when i was painting outside in the warm <laughs> in the warm weather which is what i like doing not so much in the cold i tried it <laughs> i didn't like it and uh I, I do paint like this, so. Do my little specks of colour in amongst a build up of colour. Because you can always build the colour up and then, uh, as like washes and stuff, you don't actually have to. Do it like this. The 
there's these really nice bright spots like singing in the uh, in the dark I have to like I have to light them up there's this grass as well down here A bit of a, a brownie green sort of down there. So you put enough uh, enough in for yourself that you want in there, enough information that you want and that's what I'm uh, doing at the moment I'm looking at how much information I want in there and then uh, what's uh, fantastic about this bit <laughs> I just feel like when I walk down there, it feels like I've gone back in time. See the holes in the uh, in the dark. leave it for a minute just to uh, brighten up this and there's a few bits there and then we've got this this area's door but it's more green than that so a little bit of yellow will help and there's a bit of a uh, Ivy growing down as well down there. Just leave a lot, leave that like that. You can see lots of little sort of brownish colour on it. go there's that and then there's a bit growing up there as well there we go okay now I can start putting in all this in front of this Oh, actually, that's not really bright enough here. It wants to be a bit brighter. There we go. Yeah, so we can get this going in the front now a bit of yellow ochre and white a bit of yellow ochre and white and there's a lot of uh, grassy grassy sort of stuff here
sort of flick it up a little bit. And I can switch to another brush. Get some of these shapes. So I'll go like that. There's like a brownish, reddish sort of thing as well. And a few of them sort of like there. bushes and stuff growing up they're catching the light here just paint a bit of that in Some of these more, more of these in little uh, flicks of the brush. some of these uh, grassy bits in amongst this as well. Some grassy bits in here. And then after that, I can start adding a bit of dark again down here. From the big trees.
Yeah, so we've got a big tree there which is cast in that, that shadow, but there's the light in between that sort of lit this up, and then we've got the light there just lighting that up and sort of missing out the uh, nice area. And I'm, I'm tempted to put someone in it. <laughs> That just needs darkening a bit, that shadow there. Anyway, so we've got quite nice. Tempted, very tempted. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. Let's get those little light spots in there because they they need to be there. Some leaves they need that extra bit of brightness on them. That leaf there has vanished again. Okay. Ooh. That's a bit better. Make sure we get some of these in. I think I'm going to leave this desolate. <laughs> it was it was a tempting thought to. Uh, Put someone in it, but there wasn't it. You don't see anybody there, apart from uh, the odd person. Um, oops. Yeah, I think I'm going to call this one finished. I don't feel me adding someone, even though I'm tempted to. I don't know. If I did put someone in this, where would I put them though? I'd have to put them there. Or coming out of there. Or there. <laughs> Nah, I think I'll leave it as it is. I quite like it without anybody there, to be honest. It, I think it's pretty good. I'll put a little bird up there, though. Mm. Doesn't look like a bird. <laughs> Let's get rid of it. I think I'm looking to put stuff in that I don't need to. I think I'm just uh, thinking, oh, that could be good to have this, good to have that, but I don't think I need to. I think this says enough. It's all about the lighting on this side of the building and the change of light here as well, which I liked. That's what I liked originally. So uh, I'll stick with it. I'll just put in a bit more light on these. Now this has dried a bit.
Yeah, so there we go. We'll call that one finished. So thanks very much for watching this one. These things here are coming down there. I'll call this one. <laughs> so thanks very much for watching this one and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.